hundred percent, man. You have, you have definitely have a ton to be proud of, but that's definitely something that, uh, you know, goes beyond building a brand. It goes beyond, you know, fitness and, and athleisure. You, you hit a very interesting point. I want to ask you about something that I now talk to my friends about all the time. We live in an era, especially in America. I don't know about the UK. The definition of a man, the definition of masculinity is, is rapidly going through, I think, a change phase. I don't think anybody has an answer of like where it's headed, but there's obviously something going on, on you know, in the underbelly where this is changing. How have you seen the definition of masculinity change through your time at Gymshark? And I don't mean in the company, I mean in the outside world. I feel like it feels like a pendulum swinging from side to side. I feel like at the start it was the biggest dudes with the biggest muscles. Then it was almost kind of like it's not cool to be masculine anymore and actually you should sort of dis discard masculine or traditionally masculine qualities. And now I can't help but feel like it's coming back as well, right? And, like, there's a reason that stoicism keeps rearing its head now, right? By definition, the stoics have been around for a very, very long time, right? Marcus Aurelius isn't new news. But there's got to be a reason why the daily stoic and these books about, like, the rugged individual are, like, coming back around now and everyone's following these stoic quotes and whatever else. And I honestly think it's probably because young men out there need it. Do you know what I mean? They need something to sort of look towards and they need someone to tell them, actually, no, like, sometimes times are tough and sometimes you just have to bite down on your gum shield and push through it. Do you know what I mean? So like I said, I kind of feel like it was here, then it went over there and now it's kind of swinging back again. And I honestly think the happy, the right answer is probably somewhere in the middle, but as ever with the world, it doesn't kind of work out that way. Do you know what I mean? So we probably will just do a bit more back and forth. I think. What, 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 what's your guys take? What made you pick up on that particular line? Can I just hold on before Mina, you, you're talking that? I just want to say, Noel, you are the king of analogies, my man. Um, and don't swing. <laughs> uh, Mayweather, like, let's keep it going. Man. I, I need, okay, cool. every, every time we ask you a question, if there's not an analogy, we're going to retake that, okay? <laughs> yeah, Alex Alex loves analogies and he loves, he calls them nuggets. He calls them yeah, golden I nuggets. nuggets, so man. Love, I love by the, the end nuggets. of this, right? I, you just said, you just laid the bar down. I'm going to get an Aladdin analogy in by the end of this podcast. <laughs> yeah. All right. I mean, I'm Dude, gonna, they're I'm, easy. I'm gonna, they're easy. They're easy for Diamond you, not for me. <laughs> yeah, all right. I, yeah, I won't, lead you, I won't lead you into that. No layups, you, no layups. All right, Mina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, I think our world is definitely, or our society, especially in America, um, yeah, I think people are struggling with identity. I think people are struggling to find themselves in the world. I think the world is becoming so noisy now with social media and you know people putting on the 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 most perfect image of their life right like i find myself going on social media and going and i catch myself thinking this but i go man my life is my life is shit like these people's lives are so perfect like damn they're like getting ice cream and and it, you know what i mean just like the simplest stuff and i'm like and then i go yeah. wait a second wait a second that's that's the image they're portraying to the world that's not actually their full life and I feel like there's a lot of people that aren't as cerebral, maybe that aren't as aware that really start believing that shit, that really start believing like, this is what my life needs to be like. My life is less than because of all of this. And I think that bleeds into identity as well of like, well, who am I? How, you know, why do I not feel special in the world? Why do I not feel like myself? And so I do feel like there's an identity crisis in this country. I, you know, in in you know maybe the Western world, I think there's an identity crisis going on. I think more than any other time in history, where people are struggling to find who they are, what they stand for, what their purpose is in life. How do they identify? 